It's our first full day exploring Walt Disney World. Yay! Today, we are headed to Magic Kingdom to take a look at Main Street during the Christmas period. So join us as we try some delicious Disney Park foods, watch some parades, and finally ride the epic new Magic Kingdom roller coaster Tron for the very first time. Let's go, shall we? the Walt Disney World Resort TV music on YouTube. I feel like we're in Disney World. It also has the actual opening times and Magic Kingdom's on until 12 tonight. <gasps> Dean, we have to do 12 o'clock tonight in Magic Kingdom. Honestly, that TV hack is a good hack, am I right? Good morning, guys, and welcome to the first official day of the brand new Christmas-themed Florida vlog series. So we're very excited because obviously first day has to be Magic Kingdom. So today, we're heading off to Magic Kingdom. Ooh, there's massive stalks just flown by. If you haven't seen our travel day, we are staying in a budget resort at Sonda, and we are really, really close to Animal Kingdom, actually, which is really good. And you can go check out that room tour and everything. It's actually a really good budget value resort. Anyway, I'm very excited because Magic Kingdom, according to this resort TV music, is open till 12 a.m. tonight. So that makes me very, very happy because I love Magic Kingdom at midnight. First of all, we're gonna head and get some breakfast at Cracker Barrel, and then we're gonna get an Uber into Magic Kingdom, but we also need to pick up some supplies in the middle of the day. I'm going to get some supplies from either Walmart or Target, and then we're gonna be heading back into Magic Kingdom for the nighttime and hopefully see all the new Christmas lay for that, so I'm very excited. First of all, let's head off and get some breakfast from somewhere, shall we? Also, why I gather up all my stuff and bags. This is such a good idea. If you are staying in a budget resort, but you want to get that kind of like Disney vibe, type into YouTube, Disney Resort TV Music Live. Someone's created like a channel where they've put the park opening times and they've also put like the temperature and the time. So it feels kind of like you're in Disney. When we stayed on Disney property for the very first time, Pop Century, we fell in love with watching the resort TV music and it has the music in the background as well. Anyway, let's head off to Magic Kingdom. Well, first off, we need some breakfast. I'm very excited to see Magic Kingdom all Christmassy. Let's go, shall we? A cracker Barrel. I don't know if this is just a stall though. This is Cracker Barrel, I'm sure. Cracker Barrel's a restaurant. Ooh, look how cool it seemed. It's like proper old America and oh, look how cool it is. We've got rocking chairs. Oh my God, it smells like Christmas. Oh my God, it's so cool. Oh my gosh, it's like a restaurant and store, but look at all the Christmas stuff everywhere. This is what I want, it's making my Christmas heart happy. Look at this little Santa that's going down. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. First, but I can't wait to explore around here. It's got different Christmas themed sections. Oh, a little Pokemon section. Oh, this is so cute. Look, it's got a little Pokemon Pikachu and anime. Oh, cup noodles. <laughs> so cute. Look at this little thing. I love this. Annie rolls, it says. One thing I really love is it smells like Christmas. They've got like some sort of Christmas air freshener on. It smells amazing. I love it. Oh my gosh, the theming in here is so cool. Look, it's like proper, it kind of reminds me of like a garage or something. How cool is it in here, Matthew? It's like proper American style. I can imagine us coming here quite a lot for breakfast because it's literally over the road. They've got old timers breakfast, fried breakfast, ga cracker barrels, country boy breakfast. Holy smokes. And then look at these pancakes. Stuffed cheesecake pancake breakfast. <gasps> Pancake tacos. This looks so good in here. All the food looks incredible. And I love the theming. And even better, I love the merchandise store next door with all the Christmas stuff. It's making me very happy. I need to calm my excitement down because I'm doing that really annoying, excited voice that I do. Mama's pancake breakfast with whipped butter. Or Mama's French toast breakfast with whipped butter, man. How nice does that sound? My coffee has just come out. It's put whipped cream on top. So, Mum and Dad got like hot tea. And I got a vanilla ice skinny latte. But I don't know how skinny. Yeah. Mm. That's actually really, really good. Try that. It's nice, isn't it? Dad oh. Ross. Oh. Mm. Dad and Mum's pie has just come out, and it's basically a cinnamon roll pie, it's called. <gasps> you can't eat it first with apple. Is it apples and stuff? 
did it say? Cinnamon apples. It smells incredible. It smells like Christmas. Our breakfast has come out. We've all got a country breakfast. Dad ordered a side of tomatoes and sausage. We got French toast. Look how incredible that looks. And me and Dean are sharing a breakfast. We've got a sausage patty, bacon, egg, and like a, I think it's like hash brown casserole, it's called. And then Matthew got his breakfast, country mama breakfast or something. Is that grits then? Oh no, that's grits. Oh, you have to tell me what grits is like. There's our little breakfast. And also he's bringing out some biscuits and gravy. The biscuits have just come out, or scones basically. And mum said they're nice and hot. Nice, mum. Oh, nice. The meat just looks so good. That scone, it smells amazing, our biscuit. all did this time last year on this certain frosty holiday right, we've got the uber across to magic kingdom and now we're at the ticketing transportation center we're going to get either the ferry boat or the monorail across we are hoping to make it inside the park before 1 p.m so that we can uh, try and get the tron boarding group uh, we are going to try and hit refresh and get there early. 12.20, okay, we should make it just in time. Monorail is just going by, oh, I'm so excited. We're just about to get the monorail and they're playing Christmas music. Light the fire, chill the wine, make the turn the lights down low. All I want for Christmas is you Trim the tree, deck the halls, hang the mistletoe All I want for Christmas is you Yesterday I was feeling so blue. The real wind is going by. Oh, everything looks so Christmassy. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, they've got the 100th floor go just outside and then we've got the Magic Kingdom entrance. Good job, lad. He's getting a picture of the 100th. <laughs> oh, the train's going by. It looks great with the train going by each time. It just adds some magic. Anyway, let's go down Main Street. Oh, it smells like popcorn. We've actually come in the entrance side that I don't know we're coming. We're coming the left hand side and there is the Main Street Christmas tree. <laughs> It's the castle! Yay! Right here where the benches are is a great photo spot. There's no one here, but if you position yourself just right, you've got the castle there, the tree, and these toy soldiers. confectionery let's look in the window and see what treats they have oh my gosh we've got this big confectionery stand and they always show all the little candy apples and stuff i wonder if this is like japan where it's made of resin look at all the little sweeties got a little m m cupcake spin in there Let's go 
going around. It is definitely one of my favourite time of years to come at Christmas because all the decorations look amazing. Dean said the same, that and Halloween, you just can't beat it. Anyway, we are trying to get a uh, Tron. I was going to say Ron. 59! What are you going to do? Just hit, keep it and refresh, just said. So now you just keep it and refresh. You have to keep tapping it like that. I got a, I got an Instagram message that said, Gen like, keep tapping rhythmically the refresh button and then hit board in group. Can we do it? Please let us get on Tron. So we're currently just rhythmically trying to tap refresh with a minute ago, just for a whole minute, tapping it. Oh, we got it! We got it! We got it! Thank you to the people on Instagram who said rhythmically tap it for an, <laughs> one whole minute. Look how good Main Street is. It is a bit overcast today, but still looking very Christmassy. First stop we're going in is the confectionery. Oh, I love it in here. This is how I want my house. This is like house goals. You got your candied apples. You got your big wall of M&M sweets right here. Oh, they've got the Christmas ones out, look. Cute. Christmas candied apples. And then they also have like these snow looking ones. How cute is that with Minnie Mouse and the red? Oh, it matches my nails. I'm gonna have to get a photo of that. Dean's just went and bought this Rice Krispie tree with the little Christmas uh, M&Ms on. I absolutely love these. I think they're so pretty. They're nice just to get photos with. This one's my favorite. I've actually never tried a candied apple. So maybe in this trip, we can actually try one. Oh, that one's cute as well. I didn't see that. It's the same one as the candy apple, but it's a Rice Krispie treat. I love the floor here as well, Main Street Confectionery. Also, I've got a Bumble Book case that we made when I visited Roland HQ. Look, it's candy cane as well. You'll be in my heart. You'll be in my heart. They've got a giant Christmas cookie for 6 49 there. Look at that. They've also got Christmas cupcakes. And then here's some more candied apples, one with a little Christmas tree on it. And they've got massive cookies here and big fudge chocolate slabs. Oh my gosh, look at these cookie pies. What on earth? It's only six seventy nine. Lot on the wall here. Look, it's got like a little fake Main Street Gazette newspaper article. Mars Candy Company spotlights and stash. Yes. Also, they have loads of treats here, so you can go and wait in the queue, and they can get you some fresh apples and cookies. Well, for outfits. Now we're just walking through to the gift shop, and I think I've already clocked the ears that I want to buy in this trip. But over here, I seen this on someone's Instagram yesterday. There's these little snowman ears and I think I'm going to have to pick them up. We've also got some Disney villain ones. We've got Ursula, Daisy, oh little Santa Mickey. But these are the ones I've seen. They're so cute. Look at this. $29.99. So I think this is going to be my one Mickey ear purchase that I make this trip. And we've got the Disney balloons. I actually thought I could wear that for the very Merry Christmas party. I'm very happy that we're going to ride Tron later on. But we are going to head to Starbies. I have already had two coffees today. So I probably won't get my cream cold brew that I normally get because I do want to try the Christmas version. Uh, well, we're going to get a Starbies. My mum and dad have gone straight to the Flowers Ice Cream Party Parlour because the one thing my dad remembers being here is the ice cream from the ice cream parlour. We were on the Disney dining plan back when that was a thing and he literally just got that every time he came down Main Street. Um, but oh, I just love Main Street. This is also a really good little corner to come and get your treats sit and eat. I love it here. It's got a really nice atmosphere. Starbies, here we come. Got some Christmas Starbies mugs here as well. We got these candy cane ones with the like ombre. It's kind of cool that actually. I like the straw. And then we've got, oh I like that one. I don't know if you can see this but it's got all the different like ornaments and baubles with like candy canes, Mickey heads. And then at the bottom we have like a water bottle and more ornaments on. And then they've also got this Magic Kingdom blue one. This one's kind of cool too, I like this. I like the little candy cane straw chopper, but it's not really my colours, but it is good for Christmas. Here's some seasonal flavours. We have peppermint mocha, iced gingerbread oat milk chai latte. Oh, I bet that's nice, Dean. Sugar cookie almond milk latte. I got the ice matcha latte. Dean got the caramel ribbon crunch. This looks really, really dark green, this matcha latte. I didn't want to get another coffee because I've already had a lot, but I got a skinny matcha latte with sugar-free vanilla. It looks very dark, <laughs> so let's try it. Oh no, that's good. Dean, you're gonna like that, try that. Oh, that's really good. It looks really dark compared to the English one. I don't know if they add maybe food color into these ones because the green looks like really green. Dean got salted caramel ribbon crunch. Blech. It's very sweet. If you like really sweet dessert style coffees, that's for you. But to me, that's a little too sweet. But I do love the cream cold brews. And I know matcha has caffeine in, but I feel like it's not as bad as having another coffee. I don't think I could stomach another coffee, but this 
is very refreshing and delicious. It doesn't do my dad's favourite stuff anymore because it used to be apple pie, but they've got brownie and they've got chocolate. Oh man, that looks incredible. I think you can still get the cookie with the hot caramel sauce if you ask for it. It's got caramel sauce and chocolate sauce. That looks really, is it nice? Okay, I'm gonna try one spoon of it. The fudge is hot, it so is. it's like hot fudge sauce so I'm melted in. One of those big birds hanging around waiting for some Starbucks treats. Anyway, Festival, uh, Festival of Fantasy Parade starts in 20 minutes. So we're going to watch Festival of Fantasy Parade at the Plaza Ice Cream Parlour. So we've got a really good view here because we'll see it coming around the castle and then we'll see it uh, going down Main Street. So let's watch Festival of Fantasy, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> and then getting an uber for us it's quicker and cheaper to get on this bus because we want to go to walmart and also if you go to the monorail everyone was like leaving after the parade monorail and the ferry boat will be a bit busy at a ticket and transportation center whereas if we just get on this and then we'll get from there we'll get an uber to walmart i'll tag it and then we're heading straight back so we should get a good six seven hours at night time around the park which is my favorite time water and you get yourself one of these little squirty uh, things 
Oh, there's a mix of different ones, Crystal Light. But this one's my favorite. I think I really like this one. And I got strawberry lemonade. Oh. So it seems they all help to make the season Life. Oh, all right. We really don't have time to talk because we've just been called for Tron. Uh, we went to Walmart and I will do a little food haul later when we get back from um, Disney. We basically got like fruit and then we got like bagels and crisps and stuff. And also my ears. But we are just shutting things in the fridge. I'm not even going to unload the bags. I'm just looking at the fridge stuff. We need to go. We've been called, Matthew. Ah. So I'm just going to load the stuff in the fridge and then we're going to head straight back to Disney World and to Magic Kingdom for an evening in Magic Kingdom. We need to shoot straight to Tron. So let's head back to Magic Kingdom and go ride Tron for the first time. Oh my gosh, I'm in a rush. I'm stressing because we have to also get the monorail, so we need to go now. So we just ordered an Uber. It was £10 actually from this hotel in a normal standard size Uber because, because we're a family of six, we've been getting the XLs, so they cost a little more. But it's £10 to get to Magic Kingdom. So now we're heading to Magic Kingdom and then we are going to ride Tron and then we really need something to eat. But what we thought we could do is go on Tron, then go for food as Stargazers. Bye dad, I love you. Yeah. Super Rays, whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called. We'll go for food in Tomorrowland and then hopefully when the fireworks start, try and ride Space Mountain because that is always the best time to try and ride it because then the queue and the weight is really, really low. And then do some more rides because it's up until 12. So hopefully we can do the mountains. I'd love to do Haunted Mansion, maybe Pirates. So we'll see what we get done tonight. And we're going to spend a whole evening in Magic Kingdom together. So let's go, shall we? Oh my gosh, the security queue is absolutely massive. that view though of the lake when you get the ferry boat you can just see the castle in the background and magic kingdom we are coming for you you're all set thank you, thank you. right let's rush to tron we're gonna be late i'll show you a bit of magic kingdom later on with all the lights we're gonna rush straight to tron and make sure we don't miss our body time we've got three minutes or something like that so i hope we still let us on if we're a little bit late Oh no, we 
we have collateral damage from the ride it's bent but look at this motorbike here this is your laser ride so my mic has indeed broken i'm sorry about that might not be as isolated uh, but we'll just have to deal with it it's the first day as well but never mind but that was absolutely amazing i thought it was brilliant oh there it goes to make it because we didn't even think we were going to ride it today anyway now we're going to get some food because we're all really hungry and it's already like half eight i have to admit though the best thing about coming to orlando for us when we come for two weeks is the feeling that we don't have like urgency like rushing around because we know that we will be back in the park very soon and like if we miss anything we can go and ride it again so it never feels like really really like rushed like we, when we go to Paris or we go to Japan and you only have a couple of days and I want to see everything uh, it's like oh well, we can go to Magic Kingdom like we've got like two more weeks in Magic Kingdom well first of all let's get some food it's a really busy park night tonight that we noticed and we're thinking it is probably because it's the first time the Christmas stuff is up and obviously annual pass holders and it's a weekend it's friday and annual pass holders are probably coming out to see it uh space mountain's currently a 60 minute wait so we're going to skip that oh we're going for food next i want to go on the people mover i think we should uh, get food people mover and then pirates okay oh that sounds good food people mover pirates that sounds like a good plan matthew i oh, like it okay let's get something to eat from here we've come to the starlight cafe and the mainly do like burgers we've got a uh, crispy noodle salad which actually looks really nice uh, different burgers a sandwich patty melt Ooh, grilled chicken sandwich our dinner's come out dean picked a uh, burger and chips we'll just have to half this and there's also a ranch dressing which is like my favorite thing so we're gonna tuck into this let's try it i'm actually really hungry i haven't had like any proper food hasn't been a good day of healthy eating but the first day in disney so mm. Fries are so crispy. Oh. Ranch sauce is like the best sauce ever. First burger in Disney. Ooh. It's just a cheese and bacon burger. Mmm. You need some pickle in now, some of That's actually really juicy and delicious. I'm just in like a soft brioche bun. I'm just having a look on the app, and it is a little bit of a busy pack. Night is night. Aren't in Mansions currently at 60 minutes. I was hoping because it's late. And Big Thunder 70 minutes. Space Mountain 70, Jungle Cruise 80, Seven Dwarfs 105.
behind us and we've got a lot of 100th merch it's like silver themed uh, we've got these 100 ears over here 100 bags oh cool Mickey in his 100th outfit oh cool oh yeah little silver ornaments I like them I like this t-shirt as well it's a t-shirt oh look at the chipmunks in the little oh look at this one we do have a little hundred statue of Mickey and Minnie. You could get a four here. Anyway, Main Street is looking beautiful and I'm sort of, oh, we better not walk there because we might get in people's walls. Uh, Main Street is looking beautiful for Christmas. I can't wait to actually ride some proper rides. I cannot believe we only rode one single ride and that what was Tron. What do you mean we rode? Um, we only uh, went on Tron the whole day. <laughs> That's a very expensive We're ride. See you back in the hotel room. We're back in the hotel room and I'm pretty tired. I actually fell asleep. Um, on the Disney bus and then in the Uber but I thought I'd give you a quick Walmart haul and also show you the ears that I got properly from Disney before we end. We got some knives and forks and stuff for the room and we got a massive bag of grapes which are really handy but I forgot to bring my little sandwich bags that I brought normally bring and I normally make a little pack up but we got grapes, we got apples, uh, we got oranges uh, we got some onion bagels and uh, avocado and eggs uh, for breakfast. We got some strawberries and then moving on to the not so um, healthy stuff. We got these peanut M&Ms, which actually my friend Victoria from Disney in Detail showed me these last time I came to Orlando with Victoria and they are incredible. And then Dean got some macadamia cookies. We got the squirty juices uh, for the parks, which are very, very handy when you get ice water. And then we got cereal. We got my lucky charms, which I only get in Orlando. I don't allow myself to have this at home because actually, truth be told, this actually makes me a little bit bad because it's so sugary and not healthy. But I use, I actually eat this, eat a small bowl of this as a dessert. And then Dean wanted to try graham crackers, is it called? Graham crackers? These are what you have with s'mores. I've never tried this before. And then Dean got this honey nut check cereal. And then I got my favourite crisps that you can only get in America. I've not seen these anywhere. These are Lay's dill pickles. And then we've got spicy Cheetos. And Dean got Funyuns. Anyway, I thought I would quickly show you the Mickey ears that I got as well. I think these are so, so cute. Oh, I got these little fuzzy... She's actually took off the tag. These little fuzzy snowman ears. So we've got Mickey and Minnie. I might just be two Mickeys actually. But I just thought these look so cute. So I was wearing my candy cane ones. I actually get a really bad head wearing mini ears. So I'm trying to persevere, but they do give me a bad, bad head. I actually don't know if I'm meant to cut these tags off. I always keep these tags on. I haven't actually cut them off, but. Oh, like so much water. Oh, ears. Goodbye. It must be Christmas. Must be Christmas. Yes, it must, must be, be Christmas. Christmas.